I was trying to read from Bailey and Sebastian and that was getting difficult and it was difficult to remember the entire extent of what they offered. It took me almost a month to complete uh, general surgery videos and those those MCQs that that were prepared also brought out very uh, also brought out some meaningful concepts throughout. I did most of my surgical gastro preparation in my final year. I studied from Shackle for Schwartz and Sebastian. Sebastian and Schwartz mainly concentrating on uh, uh, <clears throat> the tables, the pictures, and the general uh, topics. In these videos, a lot of uh, uh, concepts are covered first. New new pattern MCQs are discussed, which you would not know just by reading Bailey or Sebastian. Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal, your Marrow SS General Surgery faculty. And I have the great honor of uh, talking to Dr. Akhilesh Devendra, who secured rank 6 in the recent NEET SS exam in surgical gastroenterology, which is the most competitive branch when it comes to surgery. So heartiest congratulations, uh, Dr. Akhilesh. Um, from you. everyone in the Maro family, we are extremely happy with your result. Uh, so you. why don't you tell us uh, something about yourself uh, and then we can ask you more questions. Tell us where you did your MBBS and MS from and uh, when did you start preparing for, uh, for NEET SS? I am from uh, uh, I'm from Hyderabad. I completed my medicine from CMC Velo, and then I did my master's in surgery in uh, Maulana Azad Medical College. And uh, with regards to my need preparation, I started my final year when I had uh, some more time to um, to study. So that was when I uh, began to uh, take interest in surgical gastro. Went through the portions, read the basic textbooks, and uh, I completed last July. Uh, I gave my finals last July and, and I took another two, three months to prepare and I wrote my exam this time. Great. So I guess uh, for surgical gastroenterology, which is one of the most competitive branches, usually there is a wait period of one year. And that was the case in your, uh, in your case as well, where you completed last year and this year you've secured a rank. Uh, so, so great. Uh, so... Um, Dr. Akhilesh, tell us about your preparation. Let's divide it into the general surgery part and the super speciality part. And let's elaborate on that so that it can help uh, future aspirants as well. So general surgery, you utilize the marrow videos. Uh, what I would like to know is how much time did it take you to finish the general surgery videos? And um, along with the videos, uh, were you doing notes and questions along with that? I, I So... Uh, in the beginning, I was I was trying to read from Bailey and Sebastian, and that was getting difficult. And it was difficult to remember the entire extent of what they offered. But then I switched over to uh, search videos and uh, the notes he has prepared. I felt uh, they they brought out the best points in 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 a very nice manner. You would not be able to forget it. And so in in his videos of MCQs, again stressed the importance of them. Again brought brought the most or the most uh, basic questions like you you would read something in Bailey but that would not remember that would not that would not something that strikes you as important but when how uh, Dr. Rohan would put it in his video you know that now okay this is important this is what I should do so it took me almost a month to complete uh, general surgery videos and it really added weight to what I was studying it helped me clear some things which I thought are not important and those those MCQs that that were prepared also brought out very uh, also brought out some meaningful concepts throughout. So um, I would say a, a good one month preparation for watching those videos would suffice. So I think so. Those are very important points. So I also feel that one month is more than enough. Uh, so there are sixty hours of videos. Even if somebody puts in two to three hours every day. They can easily complete it within, uh, you know, within one month. That is one. And along with that, the MCQ discussion videos, I have tried to cover up the Sebastian updates, uh, the special videos which have been made for uh, NEAT SS. Uh, so those MCQ discussion videos should also be seen because they have a lot of questions which are directly asked in the exam as well. Uh, so one month is good enough for preparation and another 15, 20 days for revision. Uh, so I guess somebody who's preparing for the next NEET SS exam, which is predominantly general surgery based, can easily finish one whole reading of general surgery in 40 days and then do two or three good revisions as well. Uh, 
That's right. Uh, so Dr. Akhilesh, what about the surgical gastroenterology portion? How much of it did you read in your final year when you got interested in surgical gastroenterology? And what did you do once you graduated? How did you approach surgical gastroenterology after that? So uh, uh, I, I did most of my surgical gastro preparation in my final year. So when, I, when we had more time because of ongoing COVID pandemic, I, I studied from Shackleford Schwartz and Saviston. Saviston and Schwartz mainly concentrating on uh, uh, <clears throat> the tables, the pictures, and the general uh, topics. I, I revised Saviston a lot of times. So that, that helped me remember all of these. And post uh, my, my exam, I joined as a senior resident in hepatobiliary unit. So that helped me with the uh, practical aspects of uh, treating, seeing patients and their uh, basic management. So uh, since it was a lot of application based questions, uh, some understanding of uh, how to treat patients is important. I guess um, then that would help, then that would need uh, someone from the faculty of surgical gastro trying to teach you. And so those videos of surgical gastroenterology would really be of help. Because sometimes reading a book, textbook may not help you understand their management as when it's practically done. So it's really important then to watch these videos and understand like in an umbrella way uh, the entire management plan. So you would strongly recommend somebody preparing for surgical gastroenterology to join a hepatobiliary unit or a gastro unit to gain so, experience and of yes. course uh, learn the practical aspects. And That's right, as sir. you said uh, watch the video so that you know they can put everything in a concise manner right. and put everything into perspective that's right that's right. right but i'm not sure with with new pattern how it's going to be so correct we have to no but those who are still preparing for the ina ss exam would still need to focus still on the on. ss definitely, part as well. definitely definitely right and what were your uh, sources? Like you said, you were doing questions from the Marrow app as well. And, um, uh, you know, did you attempt some of the grand tests or the tests which were curated for SS aspirants? And That's right. did you feel that the level of questions was similar to what you got in the exam? I would say the questions asked in Marrow were really tough. They're not easy questions. And uh, uh, most of the times I would get them wrong. So that sort of sometimes uh, made me feel like whether I'm, did I complete portions correctly or not. But right. these are the questions that uh, make you go back and study them again and also bring out important concepts. I felt more than answering them, you begin to learn a lot go going through these questions. And, mm -hmm. uh, and, and how you answer them if you don't know anything about the question. Too. Sometimes it's important to learn how to guess and and that, that was uh, very much evident in this neat paper. A lot of questions were asked which were very odd or very difficult to guess or very difficult to know. So you need to know how to guess and Marrow helped in both the ways. Right. So now everyone is going to look up to you and ask you for advice. Uh, if you were going to prepare for the NEET SS exam in six months time, what would your approach be? Let's, let's consider that you are interested in surgical gastro and neat ss is your focus what would your approach be uh if you're just starting now so i'm just starting now um with i think with it's there's a slight change in pattern and with this changing right. pattern uh one needs to focus more on uh, not only reading bailey and sabiston yes they are important but also look at uh, look at these videos because in these videos, a lot of uh, uh, concepts are covered first. New new pattern MCQs are discussed, which you would not know just by reading Bailey or Sabiston. That was that's the second thing. And I would also recommend doing a lot of questions. Find material, find ways to do do tough questions. Meaning, it's very difficult to find good questions in surgical gastro. So. So then, then it becomes so important to watch uh, videos from Marrow and, and try to see what kind of questions are being asked. 
would you also recommend uh, in addition to the general surgery videos would you recommend uh, watching the plastic surgery videos or the onco surgery videos the basic ones which you think can also be asked in the general surgery component no, and definitely definitely while while i was preparing for surgical gastro the lot of general surgery part i felt which are very well covered in plastic surgery i watched many videos in plastic surgery because they had a lot of questions on anesthetics anesthetics local anesthetics and and local flaps and then even surgical gastro radiotherapy chemotherapy principles and head and neck principles which are not uh, in detail even in baby so those videos are very important apart from uh, other things so i'm sure even in neurosurgery some 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 uh, videos on tumors and and intracranial hemorrhages so all these are 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 bits and uh, pieces which you need to pick up as you as you study yes so i also feel that that is a distinct advantage of marrow where all the super specialities are offered to you uh, and uh, you can uh, you know very pick which are the ones which are uh, relevant for general surgery as well and quickly watch them and that will add to your uh, knowledge as well that's right so great so dr akilesh uh, before we wind up any uh, words of advice to uh, you know fresh residents fresh post graduates are also joining in now how should they approach their surgical career and their surgical residency um i would say before you like any field it's it's nice to have a feel of what the field is like uh, so right. try joining a field for some time before you take up your this make up your mind as to what you should do first second uh, this this is a very serious exam competition is increasing every year so you need as many resources as possible so utilize uh, resources like maro to the best i i felt i utilized it to a great extent i kept reading those notes again and again so it gave me confidence that that i can go through this exam and third um, uh, concepts are very important so bailey sabiston i have i have concepts all throughout entirely so keep reading them again and again so that's important one reading two reading sometimes not enough great I, would, I, would I think so. That's like uh, that's very good advice in a concise manner. So th thank you very much, Dr. Akhilesh, for sparing out time and talking to us. Uh, and we wish you all the best uh, in your career. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.